May adlaw na tong tanan. In this video, I'm going to show you an exercise routine to help you improve one of the most important skill, especially if you're an older adult or somebody who is recovering from an injury or an illness. This will help you gain your independence back, improve your mobility and your quality of life. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm your occupational therapist, and my goal is to help you be more consistent with your therapy at home. So you might be asking now what this important skill that I am talking about to regain your independence, improve your quality of life, and improve your mobility. That is getting up from sitting to standing. Now getting up from sitting to standing requires balance, strength, and coordination. You need to master this because you need to get up from sitting from your couch, your bed, your chair, your office chair, or from your toilet, or if you're using a shower chair, getting up from that shower chair. But don't worry, I am going to show you a few exercises to improve your ability to get up from sitting down. So enough talking, let's get started. All right, before we get started, just a reminder, please consult your doctor or your therapist before starting a new exercise routine, okay? Now we're going to start with a good old march in place. So this will warm up your legs and improve your strength, your hip flexor strength, okay? Let's do 10 each leg. One, two, keep them high. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your marching in place. Next, we are going to do a knee extension, a seated knee extension, but keep your legs straight, as straight as possible. Bring it up, hold it a little bit, and then slowly back it down, okay? Let's do 10. One, slow back down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's do the other side, okay? And one, keep them straight, keep your legs straight. Two, slow come back down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And that is your seated leg extension. Next exercise, we are going to use a pillow, right? So just use a pillow, I think this is good. Bring it between your legs and you're just going to squeeze it for about two seconds, two, three seconds, and then release, okay? So we are getting this part of our leg stronger, the medial part of our thigh, okay? So we're going to squeeze and release 10 times. Let's start, one, Two, hold. Three, hold, release. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your leg adductions while sitting down. And don't forget, I am going to do a an attendance check later on, so watch out for that. Okay, the next exercise is very important to improve the strength of our chest and our triceps muscles and our lats. These are muscles that is very necessary when you are getting up from sitting down to push up from your armrest or even just from the seat, okay? So if you have good balance, try to do this exercise, but if you don't, just do the chair push up. So just pushing up and then back down, push up, back down or use the kitchen sink if you want to. So next one is just a wall push-up. So try to step away from the wall, point your fingers out, and then bring your face close to the wall and push back out. All right, let's do 10. One, two, three. Now, if you don't have good strength doing this, just get closer, okay? Four. Five, but let me step back. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your wall push up. 
So now we're going to practice sit to stand. Start from a higher surface and then eventually to a lower surface. Okay, so we'll start from the bed. If your bed is higher, use your bed. Or if you have a bar stool, provided you're able to reach the floor. Okay, so let's start with a higher surface from our bed. Use your hands to push up and reach back when you're going down. Okay, let's start. One, push up, reach back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that is your sit to stand from a higher surface. Now let's move on to a lower surface. This will be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so we're going to again use our hands and arms to push up and then reach back down. Now before we do that, I am going to do the attendance check. So type down below the word independent. So you are independent, right? So type down below independent to get that positive reinforcement, all right? So let's go on. Let's do the push up from our lower chair. So push up. Reach back, that's one. Reach back, two, if you need to slow down, just slow down, catch up later. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and that is your sit to stand or you can also call this a low squat from a lower chair all right congratulations you have completed another exercise routine to improve one of the most important skill for older adults to maintain or for somebody who is recovering from an injury or an illness now if you enjoyed this video and you found this video helpful please click on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and if you don't mind, share this to your family and friends who are elderly or who is recovering from an injury or from an illness. And if you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, just type it down below in the comment section. And don't forget the attendance check. The word is independent. Okay, so you are getting independent. You are not needing any more help in the future when you are able to master this very important skill. All right? And just a reminder, consistency is the key and never give up. Until next time, palam!